Hey friends, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I wanted to create some spring poly gel nails and I wanted to do something fruity. So here are just some of the things I'm using. In case you missed my last video, I did review the Model 1's poly gel kit and I kept going on about how amazing the poly gel was. So I definitely had to use it again in this video. So I'm starting off with my peel off base coat. This is the UNT peel off base. And I apply this just so I can pop my nails off quickly at the end. And I like to apply this just a little bit on like the side walls um, where my skin is. So that way it just makes it a little bit easier. So I just apply that and that dries for about two minutes. And today I wanted to do a shorter nail set. These are the nail tips from BTA Art Box. And I'm using the like extreme coffin shape. I really like these um, and I use these a lot when I'm like doing a set that I really want to keep on for some time because I feel like it's just a super nice narrow shape and I feel like you don't get that with many other nail tips. So I'm just sizing up my nails and sadly for this, for these nail tips, the pinky finger does not fit me. So I did have to cut that down a little bit and customize it to fit my nail. But other than that, these are quite strong. They have a great C curve and their length is also really good. I would say these are like a short to medium kind of length. So for my base, I'm using the Born Pretty 6-in-1 nail glue. I've been loving to use this recently because of like the thick consistency. So here I am just applying. This is so thick, you only need like the thinnest layer. So just try to wipe your brush off really well when before you apply. And you want to make sure that you cure this for 60 seconds. I did also review this little kit on my channel. So if you want to check that out, I will have it linked down in the description box. But the reason why I like to use this compared to the regular base coat is because it's so thick. I feel like it helps my nails to stay on really well, especially when I'm filing because I do put on a peel off base coat. So yeah, that's just literally the only reason why I do it. Otherwise, a normal base coat would do um, pretty much the same thing. It would just help kind of prepare, prepare your nails for the poly gel. So for the nail tip application, I just pre-apply the base coat into all the little wells of the nails and then I use the little Born Pretty lamp and I just turn that on and I kind of just hold the nail tip under the light and that's pretty much it. It's why I love using this little light so much. It's just so easy to put on your nail tips and I don't use my like full size nail light anymore. So for today's nail length, I'm just going to be trimming down the tiniest amount of the nail tip. I could have probably got away with even filing it, but I was just a little bit lazy. So I'm just trimming it down ever so slightly. I wasn't too bothered about the numbers showing because I was gonna cover that up with glitter anyway. So just before you are gonna apply your poly gel and your base, you wanna make sure that you buff your nail tips. This is really gonna help ensure that the base coat sticks super well to your nail. And so that's going to help your poly gel to stick as well. So I'm just using a regular old buffing block. You can get these pretty much anywhere. I don't, I'm not sure where I got these buffing blocks from, but I really like like the full size kind of square ones like these. I don't like the mini ones. I feel like these are just um, so much easier to use, especially for like the longer nails. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to remove the nail dust with a dust brush or just wipe your nails down with some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And then I'm going to apply my base coat. I'm trying to apply a really thin layer of this just because I don't want the thickness from the gel to kind of make the nail bulky or take away from the shape because that's just going to make my life a little bit harder later when it comes to file and also poly gel application. So as you can see, I'm going in very thin and I'm making sure to wipe a lot of the product off the brush into the bottle. And that's basically what you what you want to go for. Also, I noticed for the thumb, the nail tip wasn't fitting properly, but um, I didn't file it down just because I was gonna file it down after I put after I apply my poly gel. So I probably should have filed it down at that point when I noticed, but I just didn't for some reason. So now just going in with my poly gel application. 
If you guys missed my previous video on the Model Wands Polygel Kit review, then I really recommend you guys check that out because I did a review of the polygels in that kit and I really fell in love with them, like their consistency and how easy they were to use. I don't think I've ever used Model Wands Polygel before. I believe I've worked with their acrylics but never their polygels. So I was super surprised to hear how good they were and like actually experience how good they were because I did go off later and read reviews so I was really surprised about what people were saying. Some people were saying it's like the best poly gel they've ever used. I'm definitely going to be using their products a lot more especially their poly gel and I will let you guys know how I feel about them in the long run so yeah I hope you guys enjoy me using this poly gel because I don't know if you could tell it's I'm able to work much faster everything looks so much smoother um, I'm getting my shape a lot better as well like I feel like it took me no time to do that nail compared to if I was to use like a different poly gel so now after I've done the ombre, I was really happy with it. Very nice, smooth transition. I'm going in with the Macart Clay Poly Gel, one of my favorite clays, and I'm going to be kind of doing a super thin layer of clay right at the tip. And you wanna make sure that this layer is really, really thin, just kind of like a little adhesive layer for the Fumo Canes and the little glitters that we're gonna add. So because if you add a thick layer now when it comes to encapsulating after you apply your thicker like fruit pieces you will have a super bulky nail and then you're gonna have to file down to get it all even and then i'm worried it's gonna like file into the fumo canes so just try to make this layer as thin as possible but not super thin to the point where the fumo canes won't stick to them you just want enough so that they kind of stay there and don't move i guess so here I am just adding glitter. I tried to pick out glitter that was kind of like matching to the Fumo Cane colors that I had. Like I believe this finger is gonna be a watermelon nail and it was kind of red. So I found this red glitter from the Betsy Poly Gel Kit. By the way, I really love Betsy's um, glitters. I feel like they have such nice ones. And I am basically trying to press that in. I tried to not I, I'm trying not to do too much glitter. I want it to. I want the main focus to be on the fruit pieces. So I'm just trying to pick up like the tiny, like fine pieces of glitter, and I'm. I try to like not use the bigger like heart pieces and star pieces. But unfortunately, for some of the other nails, they were. It was a bit difficult to not like put those in. So. I hope they're not too obvious but I was so happy with how it looks so I just kept them there and then once I did my little test nail on my index I am going to basically be repeating that to all the nails I'm just working the cuticle area in first making sure to get it nice and flat and then I work around that bead to kind of keep my apex there and as you can see it's just so easy and so lovely to work with this poly gel but yeah I will hopefully be having another Model Wands Poly Gel Kit review coming soon. Um, I'm really excited for the one that I'm going to be reviewing. I'm not going to spoil anything, but yeah, um, hopefully that will come soon. I'm not sure when, but hopefully before the end of this month. So I will definitely um, maybe put up like a little community post about that before it goes up. So you guys can, be, can know when it's going to be ready for you guys. And I do have a discount code with Macart if you are interested. It is Nails by Camin for 15% off. I believe I don't have a Model Ones discount code, which is really sad, but I will try to get in touch with them and see if they can provide me with one for you guys. And then I will just put it in the description box um, later. So yeah, just uh, maybe check the description box after a couple days or maybe after a week if you are looking for a discount code. Um, if not, the Model Ones website usually has like a discount code available on their website, like at the top. So um, if you do want to check out this poly gel kit, you can use a discount code that they put up on their website. 
or if you want like faster shipping or something like that you can also find this poly gel kit on amazon that's the one i'm going to try to link down below because i feel like with amazon you get faster delivery um especially if you have like amazon prime or something so i will definitely link the amazon one down below but don't forget you can also find this on the model ones website too did talk about the slip solution that comes with this kit i feel like it helped it made a big difference um, with my poly gel application and i am testing out this poly gel today with the um with my 71 percent or 91 percent alcohol just to see if the slip solution does make a huge difference and i think it doesn't because as you, as you can see the poly gel is working pretty well and um, I'm not using the slip so if you guys um, are struggling with poly gel application I don't think you need the model one slip I think any slip will work um, I think the formula is just really good for this poly gel and that's why it's so easy to work with um, I do also want to mention that the thumb did burn me a little bit like it, it got warm I guess I guess it didn't burn me but it did get a little bit warm so i was a little bit surprised um it could be because the nail plate on my thumb is thinner maybe i'm like filing it too much or something but yeah the thumb did like get warm on me so not too sure why that happened but it didn't happen to the others and it was like completely fine and the poly gel cured like all the way through really really well there was like no issues with it whatsoever so yeah just letting you guys know that and with this poly gel being like a thinner consistency i did not find that it like floods your cuticles or it moves like it stays where you put it which is why i was like so amazed by this poly gel i feel like it ticks all the boxes of like a good poly gel and yeah i was really surprised that it didn't flood i was expecting some movement and some flooding but that didn't happen at all I also want to mention that this could be because of like the temperature of my room so it was a little bit warmer today but um it still worked the same as it did last time so i don't i'm not sure if that's gonna make a huge difference but um yeah it worked great regardless so yeah so far so good And I didn't show it, but I swapped out my slip solution for the Model 1's slip solution just to apply my Macart Clear, just to see how it would work. And I can say that the slip did make this poly gel a bit softer to work with. Um, in my opinion, that's great because now I feel like I can work a little bit easier with my other poly gels just by using the Model 1's slip. Um, the on the downside i don't have like a lot of the slip so i feel like if i wanted more i would maybe have to buy it individually from their website but i don't think this is sold as like an individual item on their website i think it's something you get with like their poly gel kit um but yeah so that's a little bit of a bum because i really enjoyed it i feel like it definitely made it easier to work with my macar poly gel and i don't think it was because of the room temperature because i have worked with the macar poly gel in like a much warmer temperature and it still worked it was like still a little bit harder so i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the clear poly gel application
don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test that I f So once that was finally done, I did not cure the clear. That's very important. Don't cure your clear layer. That's exactly why you applied it. So you can stick on your glitter pieces and your fruit pieces. So don't accidentally cure because then you're gonna have to apply another layer of clear and that could make your nose bulky. So I tried again to match the glitter as best as I could to the colored like fruit pieces unfortunately i didn't have like an orange glitter i can't believe i don't have an orange glitter in my collection i honestly did not notice that so i might have to go out and buy some orange glitter somewhere and i also noticed i don't really have like a really yellow glitter as well like i don't know i just i guess i just didn't notice until i needed it Luckily, I did manage to find this one from Vetsy, but it was like really like translucent, I guess. Like it wasn't very opaque, so I feel like you couldn't tell it was very yellow. So yeah, I feel like I'm still gonna have to go out and buy like a proper yellow glitter, but this one was beautiful regardless. And this was the nail where I had to like apply the heart and star pieces, otherwise it wouldn't show up as like a yellow glitter. So yeah. I just kind of had to for this finger but I don't think you can tell too much as long as the glitter looked like kind of yellow I guess I was happy with it so I also don't have a green glitter um, but I did manage to find this one this I got for like from like a, my local like Poundland that's what we call it here in the UK it's basically a store where everything is one pound and I managed to find these little like packs of glitters and they were cute in these like little bottles and I've used them in like a bunch of my other videos and for the thumb i also didn't have like a opaque pink glitter so i had to use this like translucent translucent one from vetsy i love the vetsy glitters though like i really like this one and i've used it a bunch as well in like my other videos so if you're interested um in purchasing from vetsy then i do have a discount code it is camin1060 and that will save you 20 percent off their website and I have reviewed their poly gel kit. I feel like this brand gives you like a lot more for your money's worth and I'm really happy with like the quality of their products. I feel like their poly gels need a little bit of work but other than that I've, I've always like enjoyed using their poly gels especially and like I always appreciate that they put all these lovely extras with their poly gels like glitters or snail stickers or they put in like cuticle oils just in like a regular poly gel kit so i feel like you do get a little bit more um for your money's worth so yeah definitely check out that brand if you haven't already they are really really good and i do believe that they ship worldwide so here i am just encapsulating at this point the video was like getting really long so i will have to skip over some of the clear poly gel application but I'm trying to get like a side view for you guys so you can see that I like to focus a lot on getting the surface really even and then I use the sides of my brush to get like a good shape. I always try to get my shape and my last layer of poly gel really nice and even so that it saves me a lot of filing. I do enjoy filing but in places where I can cut down the filing time I will. So another tip is to just like use the tip of your brush rather than like the whole body of your brush when doing the clear um 
encapsulation. I found that you get less bubbles this way and it also kind of helps to put more pressure on the poly gel to pull it down towards the free edge for your encapsulation so that is also something I like to do. I just like to use the tip and it helps to pull down that poly gel a lot faster. So as you can see here I am just speeding it up because it was getting very long but yeah I try to keep in as much as the poly gel application in real time as I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part. I know some people were requesting this so I did try to put it in but my videos will be longer so I hope you guys don't mind that. So after my nails were all encapsulated, I did cure them all in my full nail light for 60 seconds and then I wiped away the sticky layer using my 91% alcohol and tried to get the underneath of the nail as well, don't forget that. So for my filing, I just used the Model Wands 100 grit hand file that I got from the poly gel kit and I'm just using that to file the side walls as you can see nice and straight. And then I just do the free edge and then I like file over the surface. I don't spend too much time filing just because I try to get my poly gel application as smooth and as neat as possible. So I feel like that really helps cut down my filing time. But yeah, I just basically do that and I try to not use an e-file just because I feel like I get a little bit more control with the hand file. And once I'm happy with that, I will then go in with a nice soft and gentle buffer, something with less grit so that it kind of removes the scratches on the file. And once that's done, remove the dust, wash your hands if you have to, and then go in with top coat. I will have to be top coating the underneath of the nails today just because the tip is kind of clear. So then when you go over with the top coat on top, you can kind of see that glitter going all the way through. And it just looks nice and clear in my opinion. And I just am going to apply a thin layer of this and then cure this for 60 seconds. This one is the Model 1's No Wipe Top Coat that I got again from the Poly Gel Kit. And for today's nail art, well nail crystals, it's super simple. I just did like a colour matching the fruits and then a simple um, AB crystal and that's pretty much it. I'm applying some cuticle oil and then rubbing that in and that is pretty much it for today's look. I really enjoyed how these nails turned out. I think they look super juicy and fresh and really pretty for spring slash summer. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing a bit of a shorter nail set. Let me know what you guys think and I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who is so lovely to me in every video. So yes, thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!